At Links for Learning, we realize that time is a limited commodity for school superintendents, principals, and other administrative staff. Finding the time to interact with students, colleagues, or even parents can be difficult. But a Global Links video phone can help bring efficiency to any daily schedule. Imagine the benefits of being able to remotely check in with a new teacher. Participate in a staff meeting in another building without ever leaving your office. Or observe facial expressions when dealing with personal issues like student behavior or related family activities. A Global Links video phone can help connect educational leaders with their staff students and related families, and ultimately create a better learning environment. In the following clip, you will see Superintendent Brizard of the Rochester City School District use a video phone to speak with a third grade class at School 22. Tool being used in local classrooms could help bridge achievement gaps between urban and suburban schools. That tool unveiled today. Students in the Rochester City School District had a chance to try out a video phone. And as News 8's Megan Backus shows us, they connected with a special guest. Good afternoon, guys. Superintendent Jean-Claude Brizard visited third graders at School 22 without leaving his office. So trust me, um, I learned a lot. He has a video phone at his desk. Around lunchtime, Brizard called the video phone in the library at School 22. He was able to see and hear students, and they were able to see and hear him. They had a chance to ask their superintendent questions for the very first time. I asked him when he come to visit us. He know how to talk in Spanish. If it was hard um, being in charge of schools. My work has long days. Uh, you got to make sure that everyone is doing the best they can for you. The video phone pilot project is part of KidBridge, a program developed by the Rochester Education Foundation. The six-year-old program focuses on leveling the playing field for kids from all schools. Karen Guidarelli is leading the project. You can connect classrooms to each other, mentors to classrooms, and then community groups to each other. Video phones have been installed in Victor and Pittsburgh schools as well as two Rochester schools. Brizard says he would be interested in investing in the phones. There are tons of technology out there for education. We have not learned to leverage enough of it, honestly. Uh, we've got to make classrooms much more uh, dynamic and allow kids to go beyond the walls uh, of their schools and their classrooms. Guidarelli hopes more video phones will be put in businesses and museums across the country. She says it's a tool that will bring students closer to the world. To get kids communicating with each other and help them understand that there is life outside their own neighborhood. The students will get to use the video phones for free for the next 90 days. Megan Backus, News 8. And we are proud to be part of this video phone pilot project. We're excited because we will be able to communicate with local students uh, right from our newsroom.